Variety is the spice of life, and beauty is in the eye of the beholder, deliciousness in the mouth. And yes, how do you choose among the thousands of apple varieties available in the 21st century? It's a big question, but here's a number one thought. Taste them whenever you possibly can prior, and then you know, Gold Rush oh, is so luscious, Cribson Crisp, amazing, Triumph, yes, Cordero. I don't really love La 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 or La, don't let anyone tell you that what you love and what you don't love is better, worse than anyone else's. There are so many apples because there are so many of us and so many different flavors because we all are drawn to our joy. And don't deny your joy, friends. And indeed, plant it and indeed share it with the rest of us, please. So yes, getting to taste fruit is crucial. I look so forward to welcoming you to our farm to taste all of our varieties in the future. And beyond that, looking at what grows reasonably in your climate, in your bioregion, makes a huge difference. Because I really like pineapples, but it's kind of hard to grow pineapples here. And similarly, some apples thrive in short seasons more than others. And to some degree, it's a maturity qual um, question, but it's also a disease resistance question. Here in the Northeast, we have so much scab and oh my gosh, so many plum curculio. And then on the West Coast, there's a lot of other diseases and the Southeast, their own diseases. So in each bioregion, pay attention. And certainly here at Fruition, we are sharing organic seeds and trees for short seasons and specifically those in the Northeast and kind of greater Great Lakes area where we have a lot of common insects and disease pressure to <laughs> be living alongside. Also, take a look because rootstocks make a huge difference. So yes, there's rootstocks that are the root and the cyan wood, which is the fruit. So that's the variety you choose, but the what variety <laughs> rootstock that variety of fruit stock is on makes all the difference, whether it's a little dwarf tree, a semi-dwarf, a full-size standard tree. So, you know, considering if you're a home grower and want just a few trees in your backyard, or if you really want to be diversifying your market farm and bringing some to market or are like getting in and just want to be an apple grower, there are so many different ways to think about varieties and rootstocks. And there's no one way. And of course, then there's early, mid-season, and late. I love having all of the above so that we have those earliest apples like pristine and August that are so <laughs> flavorful and crisp that then give way to those mid-season varieties. End of September, early October, Crimson, Crisp, Triumph, Cordero, what are so <laughs> delicious. And then late season, like this lovely, oh, gold rush, literally so much sugars in Triumph that <laughs> they can be on the tree, 22 degrees Fahrenheit. I forget what that is in Celsius at this moment. Is that five? Anyway, freaking cold and still be just fine. So yes, early, mid-season, late, those are crucial things to consider as well, especially if you want the full, fullest spectrum of harvest windows. And of course, then how do you want to enjoy them? I love them fresh eating myself, but I do love fresh eating all winter. So I love some fresh off the tree, but I love those apples in February from the cellar too. And some varieties, some apples are fabulous fresh off the tree, like this fabulous <laughs> Crimson Crisp. Others like Gallerina. Oh my goodness. On Enterprise, a month after we pick them, their sweetness suddenly deepens and they become more delicious in storage. Interestingly. So yes, there are so many varieties, friends, and so no one way to be doing anything in life, much less growing apples and eating apples. And there's nothing 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 
that anyone can say that will take that love and joy away from your love and joy. Whether it's baking, sauce, drying, there are so many kinds of apples. And I look so forward to tasting more and more and more my entire life. And I will never come close to tasting even a fraction of the thousands and thousands and thousands of varieties that exist. But I so look forward to every bite and I hope that we get to share a few bites together one day.